abstracting craft, the practiced digital hand. Malcolm McCullen. One, hands, five prologues. One, hands are underrated. Hands are underrated. Eyes are in charge. Mine gets all the study and heads do all the talking. Hands type letters, push mice around and grip steering wheels. So they are not idle, just underemployed. Take a look at your hands right now while they are holding the phone you're watching this video on. That alone makes the video more intimate than television. The two hands work together. Sometimes one might take over the holding while the other takes over the repositioning. One might reach out to adjust a lamp or raise a drink to your lips. When that hand comes back, the two may find their old positions or assume new ones. The variations seem endless. Even amid this simple activity, hands seem to have a life of their own. Hands show life most when at work. They don't just hold, they grasp, they pinch, they press, they guide. To pick up a coin, to turn a key, to lift a handle, which uses each. To pick up a coin, turn a key, lift a handle, each using its own fundamentally different grip. Work that applies force takes a different form than work that exercises precision. Moreover, all this work is fast. The hand is quicker than the eye. Hands are versatile too. They give and take pressure, heat and texture, and maybe other energy fields too. And for working hands, taking may be as important as giving. Hands get shaped. They may get calloused or strained. They pick up experience. Much life of the hands is a form of knowledge not a linguistic or symbolic knowledge such as you might use to read a book or write a computer program, but sometimes, but something based more on concrete action, such as sculpting plaster or clay or editing video. The knowledge is not only physical, but also experiential. The way, the way of the hand, the way of hands is personal, contextual, indescribable. Little can surpass the hands in showing that we know more than we can say. Psychologists and social scientists have studied this in art. Psychologists and social scientists have studied this inarticulable knowledge extensively and they have many names for it operative action centered inactive reflection in action know-how and the most common word skill you might be skillful at anything from a plainly mechanical task to a subtle lifelong practice 
for example, perhaps you can type quite quickly, two thumbs tapping away on an in tactile keyboard, or perhaps you have a mastery of wood joinery. Maybe you draw quite well. Maybe you draw with a pencil or a stylus. You probably understand skill in terms of your own abilities, whatever their level and application. And for this reason, the word has many meanings as they are and for this reason, the word has as many meanings as there are different talents. Skill is the learned ability to do a useful process well. Look at your hands, so skilled. <laughs>